So I've definitely talked about this topic before, and I'm covering it again because the video has been so deeply buried among, you know, the hundreds of other videos that we have here. And the question has been asked many, many times, and I just want to make sure that we are all on the same page. So if you already know the answer, I just wanted to say that I'm proud of you. And if you didn't know the answer, that's okay, because we're here to learn. So the question is, should I be friends with the dumper? Should I be friends with my ex? And I'm going to keep the answer simple. I'm not going to drag it out. In the event that you are emotionally mature and able to be a friend with your ex, and you genuinely desire friendship, you are not remaining friends with them to increase a chance to win them back, then sure. If you're able to accept the fact that you guys are no longer together, and you still want that person's presence in your life, and you're totally okay with platonic friendship, no chance of reconciling ever, you are there to be their friend, only their friend, never to see them naked again, if you're genuinely okay with that, then the answer is, sure, go for it. Because you risk nothing. You have accepted the ending of the relationship. I myself am friends with some of my exes and only friends. I'm not trying to accomplish anything. I'm just there because I enjoy their presence. Just because we didn't work out romantically doesn't mean that there aren't some things that they contribute to my life platonically. I'm okay with that. And I truly have no desire to reconcile with them romantically in any way, shape, or form. However, if, and you know the honest truth here, if you want your ex back romantically, then trying to be their friend would be a mistake, for reasons that I'll discuss in this video. Reason number one is that, secretly, you're trying to win them back, whether you want to admit it to yourself or not, and obviously there are no absolutes, so I don't like to say things with complete certainty, maybe you really do just want to be their friend, but I'm willing to bet more likely than not, you're trying to win them back, and so the relationship is not real, it's a deception, you're being duplicitous, right? The purpose is to try and stay close, to try and stay relevant in their life because perhaps you're afraid that they'll forget you, which I just want to go ahead and validate your fears. It's normal to feel that way. You're normal, and there's no shame in being afraid. In fact, when we're able to admit and name our fears out loud, we gain some control over them, because the first step to knowing yourself is knowing your fears, knowing what things motivate you and what things repel you. This is an example of being self-aware, and self-awareness is never a bad thing. Obviously, breakups are no fun, and losing a person who's very valuable in your life is no fun. But you're not exactly losing them, are you? It's more that the terms of the agreement have changed, and of course, you don't have to be okay with that, and you can absolutely bow out of a situation that's no longer serving you. But when you're going through a breakup, it's so hard to walk away because we feel as though we're giving up. And so sometimes what we do is we stay friends with this person, even though we know it's not good for us. Which brings me to number two. Staying friends with an ex is going to make you overthink like crazy, and it's not worth it. Ultimately, what it's going to do is have your anxiety raised so high and constantly second-guessing not only what they do, but what you're doing. Did I do the right thing? Did I say the right thing? Is this going to help make them more attracted to me or less attracted to me? It's a constant battle, and you're fighting the battle with yourself because to them, at least at this moment, they think you guys are just friends. Everything they're doing and saying is under the guise of friendship, if indeed... They are naive enough to believe that at this moment you're trying to be only their friend if there hasn't been enough time and healing and sort of an acceptance of the situation. Obviously, at the beginning of the video, we discussed what context we're talking about. We're talking about a relationship that ended, that they know, and you know, you did not want to end. We're talking about a unilateral decision where something was done that you did not want. So that should be the understanding for the rest of this video. But it can be incredibly hard because you want something that they do not want, and they don't even know that you're going after it. And so you're going to overthink every one of their moves and actions and say, was this a sign? Was that a sign? What about that? Number three is, you're going to worry if they begin dating other people, which they might do. It doesn't mean it'll work out. It doesn't mean that it's not a rebound. But it doesn't mean that it will fail. And it doesn't mean that it could not be a full-fledged relationship. We don't know. And on channels like mine, we don't try and know. Because we're not future tellers, we're not mind readers, and some people on the internet are going to make you believe that they do know, that they have all the answers. But life is uncertainty. And our ability to test ourselves and overcome uncertainty is one of the metrics in which we value ourselves. The ability to deal with uncertain situations. That's pretty much 
how we got here was dealing with one uncertain situation after another. So, do you really want to be around to watch them date other people and maybe even ask you for advice on dating other people? It's not going to be healthy for you, and we need to consider your mental health here. We can't really sit back and focus on theirs because you're only in control of one body. And you need to do what's best for that person. You need to treat yourself as though you're someone responsible for helping, as Dr. Jordan Peterson would say. It's important for you to understand that hanging around them, at least near the newness, the freshness of a breakup, is not a good idea. It's not healthy for you. And I know you want to be their friend because you're afraid that they're going to forget you, but the reality, the real reality of the situation is that they won't. That's a fear that you're creating. And it's okay that that's happening. I know it doesn't feel good, but I want you to, I would even encourage you to allow yourself to feel how you feel right now. Give yourself peace. How you feel is normal. It is appropriate to the situation. And the situation is fraught with uncertainty and fear. And is this going to be the last person I ever date? They're the best I could manage. I don't like myself. I'm not good looking, blah, blah, blah. All the negative self-limiting beliefs that come out during a breakup. The reality is they won't forget you. You were important to them. You were good enough to have them. And you're good enough to have the next person and the next person. And I realize that at this moment you're listening to this video, you only want them, and that's okay. But being their friend will also work against you, because we have to consider desire. We can't forget that one of the things that makes a romantic relationship work is the mutual desire for each other. Romantic attraction to one another. And at the moment they broke up with you, they're not feeling that desire or romantic attraction. And just like they didn't feel it at the beginning, and then they did, and then you guys dated, and then they didn't again when the breakup happened, it should demonstrate that this is a switch that can be turned on and off, but not through active manipulation, like some people on the internet would have you believe. It's about working on ourselves and being a desirable target for ourselves, because when you desire good things for yourself, the way you treat yourself will change. And that projects outward onto other people. And ultimately, they want a peace because you have something that they don't have, that very few people have, relatively speaking. Self-love, self-care, the ability to dislike something about themselves and the knowledge that they'll fix it. Accountability, personal responsibility. Because it's about us. At the end of the day, the story of the breakup is what brought you here. But I hope if there's one thing this channel has nailed into your head, it's that self-love is what creates romantic attraction. It's the ultimate answer that, in a weird way, doesn't make any sense. Because our entire life, we're taught that if I do that over there, if I work on that thing, that thing will come to me. And then here's some weirdo like me on the internet comes along and says, no, 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 don't work on them, work on you. And then you'll get them. Of course you're supposed to doubt it. It goes against everything you've ever been taught. But the story's not about them. It never was. The story's about you. And so, my friends, don't be your ex's friend. It's time to focus on you. And I want you to draw your energy, whatever you want to call it, inward. It's time to focus inward, not outward. So, should you be your ex's friend? No. Not until you no longer romantically want them back. I hope this video's made some sense. Obviously, there are different variables in every single situation, and so if you think that for some reason your situation doesn't match up with this video, give me a call. Thelovechat.net slash coaching is where you can find me. But maybe you don't need coaching, maybe you just want mental health therapy, in which case I've partnered with BetterHelp, a company that provides you with professionally degreed licensed therapists. And for that you can just go to betterhelp.com slash Rory or just look in the description below. As always, don't forget that we have a Discord. A Discord is just a community group where you can chat with other people from the Love Chat community. It's a good place to vent, maybe get some advice, and make new friends. We'd love to have you there, and the link to the Discord can be found in the description below. My friends, I hope this video has answered some questions, and feel free to leave comments below. Another video will be coming at you guys soon. I'll talk to you all next time.